Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I am here with episode 2 of my neighborhood review series. Today we're going to be touring the Springfield of King Size Homer, and he's a fan from over on Twitter who claims to have one of the best Springfields in the world. So right now we're going to go visit it, tour it, and give it our honest opinion. And I've seen this town before, and the thing is, um, there's a lot of different ways of designing. There's not just one concrete way, and he has a a different kind of designing style than I do, but it's not bad. It, he definitely has a lot of cool designs. It's just a lot different than I would do, so my point of view here may be a little bit skewed, but all in all, it is a really nice town. And the thing that I do like a lot about his town is he utilizes space a lot, and he doesn't worry much about organization, which we'll get back to that in a little bit, but what I mean by that is not that it's not organized, but for me, I would not be able to have just concrete sitting here next to a patch of grass without having some sort of shrubbery to kind of divide it. Whereas he has no problem with that, and this is apparent over here, and he's got little patches of water everywhere. Like for me, I would not be able to have this here without having a river stretching through. And that's great, you know, I think that, that if you don't have those kind of restraints on your town, then you are free to build the way you choose, and it opens a lot more um, possibilities when designing. So we're going to start over here in the back corner, just to make it simple. He's got this really cool um, kind of like trash uh, dump design. He's got the tire yard and the Springfield City dump back here, as well as the recycling plants and stuff. Pretty cool design. Um, we have some factories and whatnot over here with the rail yard. And he, we have the magnifying glass over here. Um, the thing that I thought was pretty interesting is his monorail design. It's quite small. And it's literally only just this track right here. And for me, I rather would have a monorail that goes all throughout the town like it does in the episode. Kind of just to keep it. But this is more like a ride. Um, which is not a bad thing. I mean, I guess if you want to get from one end of Springfield over here a couple of yards away to the other, that's fine. Um, the design is good, um, it's just a little different than I, what I would do. Um, his stonecutter's area is nice as well. And also, I forgot to mention, the thing that I do like a lot about his town is all of his characters are off doing tasks. So, when going through and checking out his Springfield, it made it a lot better of an experience for me because I was actually able to see what his Springfield would look like with the characters doing their respective jobs and stuff which I thought was pretty cool. Got some futuristic looking stuff over here. Just some random shops and stuff as well. Uh, we got over here a AK-1. I'm not too sure what that means. Um, some more shops and stuff. Uh, we got a big cemetery area over here. I like this a lot. Um, very big design. He, yeah, he uses a lot of the um, cemetery uh, decorations and buildings quite well in this design. And the thing also that I like is he doesn't worry about filling space, you know. Um, for me, this would kill me. I'm really neurotic when it comes to that sort of stuff, whereas with him, I guess it really doesn't bother him. Um, he's got a huge Springfield Penitentiary design. Um, I would have to put trees or a moat or something here, but uh, it looks like a, a real-life cemetery. Um, sorry, a real-life uh, prison design because usually they have the double fences and the grass in between which is realistic and it's nice and we've got some more designs over here and I guess with his open space he just made a checker pattern just to keep things going I suppose I guess this is going to be area that he's going to fill when updates come and he has a lot of extra land left over for considering all the stuff he used I'm not sure if he used all the buildings and stuff that are available in the game or not but he definitely does have a lot of space left over. And this area over here, um, I'm not sure if it's still part of the Wild West or if he just has not designed it yet. And if that's the case, I apologize for visiting a little early because you did not have time to finish your town. Um, also over here we have the Wild West theme area, which looks pretty cool with the horses. And what I like is if you just focus on the Wild West, it's got that really nice um, like Main Street kind of design that they have in... You know, obviously Wild West towns if you've ever seen them. And uh, this is nice little area over here with the rocks and stuff. 
and uh, this is just a really nice design. And here we got some ice stuff next to the Rin Education Center. Over here we have like a really large swampy design with um, just a lot of like lakes and forests and waterfalls and whatnot. Pretty cool. This is kind of just like a murky swampy area, which I think is really nice. Um, I think we missed a little bit of stuff over here. We just got some more buildings and stuff. This Pin Pals area as well from the current event. Over here we got some more stuff. The KTV building and some other nice things. Globex Center is over here as well. The uh, airport is pretty large as well. <laughs> what I like, I thought that was pretty cool, was uh, he's got his airplanes and stuff over here with terminals. And he's got some more kind of helicopters and stuff. And the runway over here with the crashed uh, airplane over at the end, which I thought was pretty funny. We got a whole bunch of billboards here to promote to the passengers of the planes. He's also got a nice parking lot design. I really like this. When I saw this, this kind of blew me out of the water. I really like his parking lot design, and I think it's really cool because when it comes to the vehicles in the game, I sometimes am kind of stuck trying to design them because I wind up usually just throwing them randomly in a parking space, but this is a really cool design that works. Um, he's got his hammock village over here, some more open space and a lake, um, some more random uh, builds thrown in together with some factories and stuff. Got this looks like a little candy area over here with some sugar factory and stuff. He's got the uh, dents, the, some more factories and stuff. Really cool. Looks like he's got like a car park over here. A <laughs> little crashed car park. And the stadium. This might be Truckasaurus's. Oops, this might be Truckasaurus's little arena over here. Got some more factories and the power plant right next to Moe's. Uh, we got Frank's Lab. Some Duff stuff. Some skyscrapers over here by the mountains, and we're back over to where we started a little bit with these designs. These, I, I just really like this right here. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I would never be able to do it. I'm a bit jealous. Um, we got some more cool designs over here. The DMV. Um, we got some of the uh, studios over here. The Chin Scratchy and the Channel 6. Some more buildings. Uh, the Lake Krusty Burger. Just a whole bunch of storefronts over here. Uh, we have a continuation of the movie theater industry area. And we're back kind of over towards the swampy area. Um, well, never mind. I guess, oh wow, this is a really large swampy area. Well, foresty area, rural area, whatever you want to call it. We have uh, Camp Krusty and all sorts of different stuff. We got Lake Springfield. We got this huge boudoir um, house over here where they're performing for us with the pool and stuff. We got some more forest area with Woodstock and this is actually really cool over here as well. I like this design I like this design right here. That kind of just caught my eye. Um, again for me I would have to fill all this area with trees. I just don't like seeing just grassy fields, but for this it works. It really, really does. And I think he does a really good job with that. And this is obviously right by the airport which we checked out before. Got some more stores, and over here we get to kind of like the giant casino area, which I notice a lot of people have, myself included. Giant casino area with just all sorts of casino builds. And his design is really, really nice. And he does parking lots extremely well, which I noticed. And he also does a lot of nice designs with like the shrubs and the planters and stuff, which are really cool. Um, this Plato's design is massive and really nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, we got some more buildings over here, just some random shops and stuff. This Mansarna Center, um, some uh, some more stuff. His air, um, sorry, his uh, uh, what do you call that? His uh, Nara Space Center themed uh, area over here, quite nice. Got some more buildings over here, and we're back to over where the Reen Education Center was. This is a really cool design as well. He's got a really nice. Um, design for his um, military area. Really cool. He's ready to defend his town over here. Um, we got some more random buildings. Giant Bullhob Homer. Um, some more shops and stuff. Kind of uh, little Brazil over there. Safari. Uh, casinos over here. We have Duff Gardens, which I'm not sure if he's finished yet with. Um, some more designs over here. This area is just really... Oh, 
sorry, this area over here is just really nice because of the trees and stuff. It just really makes the area pop, and we're over towards the ocean right now. Um, some more awesome looking buildings and stuff. We got the Epcot Center, the Opera House. Over here we got the Petting Zoo, his uh, Springfield Fire Department. Oh, wow, all just all sorts of really nice buildings. Over here, I guess it looks like his kind of uh, psychiatric area. He's got the two mental hospitals and the therapy center. Um, back over towards the casino, we got some castles and some Christmas stuff over here. We got his park area, what it looks like with the Sir Puddle Lots and stuff, and the Opera House. Clamphitheaters over here by the ocean as well. Over here it seems we have his uh, mansion designs right on the ocean, which is pretty nice. We got some more of his random designs over here. Just some shops, the mall, the grocery store. Some sports themed areas over on this road over here. I really like this. This looks nice. Um, some more shops and buildings. Uh, some more mansions. This is, I guess, his what looks to me like a stadium area. It's got a lot of the sports stuff, the arcade, the go-karts, the Springfield Downs, the stadiums. Very nice. This whole area is really, really nice. And the thing I like is it really pops. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's not overwhelming to the point where your eyes are crossed. Whereas for me, I would probably have a hard time doing that. Over here we have some more Christmas-themed stuff and some more shops. Making our way back towards the movie theater area as well. Um, got some of his museums and civic centers. Some more designs, the hospital. Um, we're back towards the Duff area. Now we have Mr. Burns' mansion, which is a huge design. Very lavish lifestyle going on over here. We have this double road, which could kind of be a highway, which I think is quite interesting, which I never have implemented. We have... President Lisa giving a speech over here, and this guy oozing his gas all over her. Um, we have Mount Springfield and the Volcano Layer, and we have the Housing District, which we'll finish up on for regular Springfield. All these houses are really nice, and like I started off with, the thing is, there's two types of designing uh, towns, basically. You have a more cluttered, less organized design like this, and then you have a more organized design like mine. Neither one is better than the other, but I guess it kind of just depends what kind of person you are who, when it it kind of depends on what kind of person you are when designing your Springfield, because a person that's neurotic like me would have a little bit of a hard time doing this. Like, I look at this and I'm like, where do I even start? What's going on here? It's really nice, but it's just very confusing. And, uh, that is just different, I guess, for different people. That's just my honest opinion. For people like uh, this guy, King Size Homer, I'm sure that he is happy with his designs. I mean, obviously, he claims to be one of the best in the world, and I would honestly give him the title of being up there, but for a person like me, this design is a bit different. Um, he's got a big mansion design over here by the ocean. Um, some more uh, designs over here. Uh, <laughs> that kind of scared me. He's got... Uh, Besides your Bob getting hit by the rakes over here by his house. Um, just some more awesome Springfield Heights designs over here. Um, some country clubs and some other stuff. Some more mansions, some more shops, some more um, education centers. The giant mountain of money over here. Some more uh, mansion designs. Some more country club designs. Giant mansion design. And he's got some mountainous areas over here. For the rich to kind of vacation in the mountains and leisure. Got this really huge giant hotel over here. Quite nice. He's got his little France area over here. And um, some more kind of uh, hotel and stuff designs. We'll move over to the ocean right now. We've got uh, his um, kind of upscale boardwalk. With some casinos and some town centers on it. Quite nice. He's got the bloodbath mobile in case the rich want to give their rich blood. He's got the golden train and the opera house over here on the ocean as well. Quite nice. We'll move down a bit. He's got his little resort. And we have the boardwalk over here that is over kind of by the housing district. You, the housing district kind of meets up with Springfield Heights and the Springfield Squidport. And this 
uh, stretches on. We have all of your standard um, Springfield Squidport buildings, plus uh, some exceptions I didn't even know could go on the boardwalk. And uh, it's quite nice. It stretches out. We have a lot of things for the people to do, and we got all the boats and stuff. Stens on. We have some islands over here with some crash boats and whatnot. We have the uh, oil rig design over here and some more of the resort area, which this is really nice actually. And I still have not implemented a design for this building decoration combo. Uh, I definitely have to get on that when I get a chance. And we have some more of that. The whale, the island, and the... Um, I don't even remember what this place is called. The aqua layer or whatever. But all in all, I think this town is really, really good. And like I mentioned before, he does claim to have one of the best Springfields around. And I definitely think that he... Um, is justified in saying that. Um, his town is definitely very nice. There's a lot of really cool, intricate, and unique designs when looking at his town. Um, I know I was quite critical of the um, of the unorganized aspect of it, but for some people this might be organized. I can't really say. We're all different. But for me, I prefer to have everything kind of um, bordered out and kind of isolated from each other and like I said everyone's different so that's fine but for him this might be a completely organized design like for me I would have no idea where certain buildings are like in my town I know exactly where every building is for the most part um, but a design like this I would be like where, where the hell is that building you know and I feel like I would have an even harder time finding characters but, like I said, for some people, the organiza uh, the unorganization is more organized than the organization would be. Um, so, yeah, kudos to him. This town is really, really good. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And, you know, obviously with this series, feel free to add these people that I tour if that is what you guys want to do. If you guys want to check out this town for yourselves, obviously you can add him and visit his town. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I'm sure he'll be checking those comments out as well to see what the consensus on his town is. I think it's a really good town, like I mentioned a lot of times already. I think it is really good, and I think he should continue building the way he does. And, uh, you know, whatever designs he feels are nice, then those are the designs he should stick with. So, thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, not sure when the next part is going to be, because I'm not sure when the next update's going to be, but, uh, if we have at least, if we have at least four or five days between the next update, I will definitely post another episode of my review series, because you guys seem to like it a lot, and, uh, I wish you guys were a little bit more, um, interactive in the comments section below, I really do like reading your guys' comments and stuff, and I do like responding to them, so, you know, if you guys had anything to say or add, please do, I'm not really the kind of person that blows off the comments i really do enjoy reading them so if you guys just want to be a little bit more interactive that's great as well and uh, again thank you guys for tuning in much appreciation i will see you guys in the next video keep on tapping and peace out mm -hmm.